We are looking at the Amprobe 37XR-A and it has selector buttons at the top, a selector dial, and then inputs. The, the COM is the one that, that you normally connect the black cable to. Okay, and If you look at the diagram at the bottom of this, you'll see that all things are connected to COM. Okay, so the common port, you just also known as ground sometimes, but the common port you're going to plug in the black. The red one you're going to plug into whichever of these three you need to measure. Down here in the lower left is where you'd connect the red if you're doing 10 amps um, maximum and it's fused. Okay. In the upper left, you would plug it in here if you're going to measure milliamps or microamps. And this will go up to 400 milliamps max fused. And then right here is the symbol for capacitance and for Henry's. Okay, So if you're going to measure uh, capacitance or inductance measured in farads or Henry's, or if you're measuring milliamps or microamps, you would plug it into here. And again, this one only goes to 400 um, milliamps. On the right hand side to the right of the COM port is where you'd plug in the red to measure either voltage or resistance uh, to look at diodes or frequencies or DVMs. Um, all the other measurements go here uh, with the red connector. Once you've connected to the to the right port for your measurement you set the selector to the correct measurement. So here we have AC voltage and DBMs. To get the yellow one, you're gonna you're gonna push the yellow button, okay, after you've chosen this. And here's um, uh, direct current voltage, there's resistance measured in ohms, and this is also continuity. That's a beep symbol, and so you'd push the red to get continuity. Um, there's for diodes and logic and frequency. This is for capacitance. Okay, that's the symbol for a capacitor, and then this is for inductance, so we'd have millihenries or henries. And then here we have microamps and milliamps, and, and by the way, these are for, un, unlike the voltage, these are for both um, direct current applications and alternating current direct applications. Sorry, but this is called a digital multimeter. Multi because it can measure lots and lots of things. So in the other videos, we'll look at specifically real quickly how to measure resistance, capacitance, and inductance using this Amprobe digital multimeter.